It took me a while to understand this concept in React, and I generally think that, well, it's a fairly commonly misunderstood concept. At least it was for me. And this concept is of snapshots. Now, I'm going to do my best to explain this, but it it is, at least for me, a little bit tricky. So let me know if you have any questions down below. But before we get to uh, the whole snapshot side of things, let's kind of do a recap of my previous video where I discussed React rendering and what occurs when React re-renders a component. So when you re-render a component in React, the steps that are going to take place are that React is going to call that component again. So if we go look at the code here, we have this JavaScript function here called snapshots page, and it returns this JSX. So when we re-render a component, React is going to call this snapshots page function, and this is the page that corresponds to what you're seeing here. So it calls that component again. Your component returns a new JSX snapshot. So here in our return statement, it's returning all this JSX and it's returning a snapshot, which I'll explain here in a sec. And then React updates the screen to match your snapshot that the function returns. Okay, that, that seems fairly straightforward, but the key here is, is the whole snapshot concept. So to illustrate this, I'm going to show you kind of a example that demonstrates what I mean by snapshot. So we see that I have that counter on the page, but if we look at it here, all this is is a button to where it's going to set state. It's going to set the number to number plus one. So here at the top, I have number as well as set number, and I initialize it to zero using use state. And then when I click this button, it sets the number, and you can see this is my plus three button. It corresponds to this right here. When I click this button, it's going to set the number to number plus one, but it's going to do that three times. So what do you think is going to occur here? Well, let's click the button and see. You can see when I'm clicking on this button here, it's only incrementing by one every time. Now, what's going on here? Well, the key to understand what's going on here is that what, what is the value of number? when set number is called. So here in the code, let's, let's just, I'm going to refresh this page to initialize it to zero. Currently right now, what is the value of number? And you can see number is what I'm displaying on the page right here. So that's just the state value. What is the value of number right now, currently for this page? Well, it's going to be zero, right? So if we come back and we kind of replace number with zero, this right here is just going to be zero. This is going to be zero. And this is going to be zero. And this is going to be zero. So does it make sense now why I click on this button and it just sets it to one? Because every render in your component is just one snapshot in time. So when this component renders, it's going to basically initialize this set number function to be 0 plus 1, 0 plus 1, 0 plus 1. So yeah, I'm calling set number three times, but it's just calling with 0 plus 1 every single time. So that's why it's getting set to 1. This is just going to be, when this component renders, it is just a snapshot in time. It is not going to, like when I click this button, it is not going to set this number 0 plus 1 re-render quick, set this 0 plus 1, re-render quick, 0 plus 1, this number is going to be the same value within a render every time because it's just going to be a snapshot. Now, what would happen if I do something like, so let me restore everything. So I'm going to just do number plus 1 there. But what would happen if I do something like this and I do set timeout and I alert the value of the number? So I'm going to set the number here and then I'm going to wait three seconds, and then I'm going to display the number. What do you think the value of the number is going to be when I call this alert function? Think it through right now. Think through what I just went over. Every render is a snapshot. What is this number going to be when this component initially renders? So what value do you think it's going to alert here? 
Well, if I'm explaining these well, you should have a good idea of what this number is going to be. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to wait three seconds. And then you're going to see the number is zero. Does that make sense? Because when this initially renders, number is zero, number is zero, number is zero, number is zero, this alert number is going to be zero. So even though we set the state and we update this to one on the page, when this alert is triggered, the number value was zero. On the next render, so if I click OK and I click this button again, well, now it has rendered where number is equal to one. So when I click this button again, the alert, it should now say one, and it does. Because during that render, during that snapshot in time, the value of number was one. So the key takeaway here is that React will not change state within a render itself. It is just a snapshot in time. Event handlers created in the past have the state values from the render in which they are created. So here, for our on-click event handler, we are setting for these state values here, they are all going to be equal to whatever the number value was when this component rendered. So these number state values aren't going to be updated within a render itself, which is actually makes things more clear once you understand this. So you don't need to worry whether the state has changed while the code is running itself. Every render is just a snapshot in time, and those state values are going to remain the same for that render, which is why we get the behavior that we're seeing here. Now, how can you fix this issue? Well, I'm, I'm going to cover this more in my next video and explain it fully. But what we can actually do is we can pass a function to the state setter. So instead of just doing number plus one, if I pass a function, React is going to pass in the previous number, and then we can just return rev number plus one. And we can do that for all three of them. And I'm going to get rid of this set timeout here as well. So now if I click on it, and let me refresh here, you see it does increment by three every time. So there are ways around this, but I will explain this more in our next video. But the key takeaway here is that when a React renders a component, it is rendering a snapshot in time, and it will not change state within a render itself. And for any event handlers that are created in the past, they're going to have the state values from the render from which those event handlers were created. So you don't need to worry about whether the state is changed while the code is running itself. So hopefully that makes sense and makes things a little bit more clear. I know it's kind of a tricky concept, so feel free to let me know if you have any questions below. But I hope that you found this video helpful. So thanks for tuning into this and stay tuned for my next React video where we're going to kind of show why this deal actually worked.